we need the Laro training and the learning curve by every 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 person that is dealing with the, this equipment has to improve his himself. I think the classifications help us think of structure and and how we're going to manage the polyps. Um, I think if you're going to have a classification system which has a, a an outcome, you need people to be trained. And, and if you're going to train people, you have to test that actually you've trained them appropriately, which is where your certification and validation comes in. So they're all interlinked. At this moment, the, the recommendations for civilians after polypectomy um, do not suit uh, uh, the NBI uh, diagnose uh, during an endoscopy. But I think in the future there is a place for it. Um, after we have trained people uh, to use uh, the MBI and are confident with it, um, it would be possible to, 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 to change all the, these aspects and mainly the, the civilians problem, I think.